Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, just wanted to share with you uh, what the title says, why I use TechnoTutor. And this was inspired uh, by a group that I'm a part of and uh, we're all using TechnoTutor. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share with you three main points. Um, one of the first points is um, what attracted me to use TechnoTutor in the first place. And what attracted me to use TechnoTutor in the first place, this was about uh, two years ago, uh, two years ago, 2018 in March, uh, one of my friends, Gavin Van, thank you for uh, introducing it to me, by the way. Um, he, I told him that I was uh, going to Vancouver. I was there for a couple days. And at the time, um, I was heavily, heavily emotionally unstable. There was a lot of chaos going on in my life, um, both financially, emotionally, in my relationship. Um, and I told I I sh uh, when I was there, Gavin luckily was able to to meet with me, and he told me I was telling him sharing with him um, my situation. At the time, I wasn't making um, hardly any money actually. Um, I was uh, prior to that I was working a factory job. I've done sales in the past, you know, before where you know I had many ups and downs. Um, but I wasn't at all financially stable, and emotionally, I mean, I was. Yeah, it was chaotic, very unstable in that sense, and my relationship was also, um, you know, as as well. And so, uh, I told him all these things, and he told me that uh, he he asked, he told me that there was a tool or that he was using to basically, um, you know, help you skip the process of how people would learn things normally, where which was uh, doing space repetition, which is uh, doing the same thing over and over again. Um, until it becomes unconsciously competent, uh, just like how, you know, when you're pra when I, you know, when I practice magic or illusions, um, you know, I practice a trick, and then I would do it over and over and over again until I could do it without even thinking about it. So, um, yeah, and and now and then he told me that there's a way to use this technology to help you um, become financially stable and you know basically deal with all the. Um, challenges that I'm that I was facing at the time and do it in like in light speed like literally f 10 times faster uh, than if somebody than if I was using another method so um, hey what's going on Amel long time no talk and uh, yeah so I start I so I asked him about it he showed me a presentation about uh, what it was in the technology and how how fast I was able to uh, integrate um, you know a piece of knowledge so the example that he gave me uh, was using like medical terms and when I did that literally um, I was able to integrate it like right away so that really uh, <laughs> what's going on bro and um, and yeah so what what happened there was uh, it was it, it was crazy so he told me basically that anything that I wanted to learn um, I could literally learn it um, just like that. It'll go from the conscious competent to the unconscious uh, competent uh, level like that quick. Uh, so it, it beats space repetition and how you know we're used to learning and it also taps into our natural learning ability. And he explained to me like when we we're kids from zero to seven when we would learn things, you know, we wouldn't use that methodology of space repetition. We'd literally absorb things just like that. And I actually witnessed that in my daughter where literally we'd be saying something or talking to her about something and then after all of a sudden she knows it so it, this technology allows so he said allows you to tap back into that so that you're able to learn things at that kind of a level um, as an adult so i decided to get it uh, that was two years ago and uh, one of the main things uh, changes that i seen within myself was uh, number one i was able to process information uh, at a much faster rate, um, you know, my reading capability um, increased dramatically. Uh, I was able to, before I would, when I would read, I was, I would have to read over a page uh, a couple times um, because I wasn't sure that I actually took in the information. And then when I was speaking to people as well, um, I wasn't able. Sometimes I, I felt like I wasn't present and I wasn't able to process what they were talking to me about. Um, and then I noticed over time as I was doing using the technology. Um, I was able to take in a piece of information that, hey, what's going on, Drake? Take in a piece of information that uh, somebody was giving me or talking to me about and then e able to relay it back to them in their own words, uh, in my own words, with my own understanding. Um, so from now to, so for the last two years that I've been using it, 
What's changed is um, I went from being financially unstable to uh, being financially stable, I can say now. Um, I wasn't I was wasn't driving a car actually. I was actually uh, taking a bus for the last couple of years and then up until last August I just I ended up having enough financial stability to uh, drive a vehicle and um, you know I'm not materialistic in any way but um, I didn't expect to you know be in a vehicle like this you know it's a it's a it's a it's a used car you know but it's it's uh, something better than uh, better than uh, what I was using before um, I still I still have to work on becoming debt free that's another thing that I am uh, doing but uh you know in the process hey what's going on Amit? long time no long time no talk thank you for logging on uh watching um and yeah so financially um you know i went from zero to making on average recently about um at least at least five thousand dollars a month uh which is the pon <laughs> the pontiac uh the the, the lexus uh, well i i had a chevrolet before uh when amel knew me this was about uh, 2014 it was a Chevrolet a blue Cavalier and uh, and yeah now um, yeah I'm, I'm sitting in this type of a car which is great I'm blessed and now being able to be financially stable like I was that was a big thing you know in 2018 um, you know when I was having this these um, these problems because in order to be financially stable I had to be emotionally stable as well um, so I can say safe to say that I am a lot more emotionally stable than I was before. Um, I'm still working on my process. Uh, it's going to be about a seven-year journey, um, you know, of doing this and take and literally clearing out all the programs that I had, um, you know, from zero to seven. And that's one of the benefits I'm seeing too is I'm starting to be able to handle and deal with the things that are coming up within me that I was dealing with when I with, that I had with the, when I was with kid. And now that's showing up and I have a tool now that I'm able to use to actually deal with it um, you know a lot of people would result to medication for me I was using marijuana uh, every single day um, you know from 2009 to about just last year um, I was like every day using uh, weed like just thought it was like something to, to for me to cope to relax and um you know you know thought it was good it was giving me like you know a higher consciousness or tapping into you know a different level and then uh when i became self honest with myself i realized that um it was just a crutch you know i was using it to escape reality and uh there was a few other things like pornography and um you know other things as well that i was holding on to those were the um and so so, but marijuana was one of the biggest, uh, biggest things that I had to let go of. And um, hey, what's going on, Andrew? Good to see you. And yeah, through the process of using this technology, I was able to really become self-honest with myself and say that you know what, I don't need this anymore. You know, I don't need to, um, I don't need to rely on a substance to make myself feel better or feel good or feel relaxed or get into a higher level of consciousness and really looking at the point of what is best for all um, so I'm still in the process like I said um, you know it's been since I think May of last year when I decided to stop smoking uh, marijuana um, I did I did I did try a CBD um, pen uh, not too long ago but then I realized that that's another crutch so I just I just uh, didn't didn't go forward with that, and you know, no alcohol since uh, for a couple of years now. Um, and yeah, I just I just you know I just those are the ma major things. So financial stability, uh, kicking those habits, um, being able to process information at a level that we're now I'm actually working in a position where I'm looking at uh, doing acquisitions. And um, yeah, thank you, brother. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm at a level where I'm able to process information where I'm able to understand things like mortgages um, law um, You know and now doing acquisitions uh, full-time, so um, And we're looking at and using uh, Dan Pena's method of the QLA uh, Before you know probably a couple years ago. I wouldn't be able to even look at that and even understand it But now it's very simple to me uh, to really process uh, what his information is saying and um, what 
why should you get Techno Tutor? Why should you use it? Um, why why you should use Techno? So the three points is number one, what attracted me to Techno Tutor? Uh, number two, what how how what changed for me, which I mentioned. And number three, why why you would benefit from Techno Tutor? And so why you would benefit from it is uh, is number one, it would tap back in if you want to learn anything at a very fast level, like at a very quick level to skip the process of conscious competence, like doing something over and over and over again and become until it becomes uh, at the unconscious level is to, to tap back into that natural learning ability uh, where you're able to literally just like you're from zero to seven, just learn things just like that and process information uh, at that speed uh, at the physical level and integrate it that way. So whether it's you're learning a new skill like sales, um, you're learning uh, here in school or any type of thing that you want to learn, whether it's finances or anything like that, it will increase your level of your processing capability and be able to tap back into that. And number two is to help you uh, be emotionally stable because emotionally stability uh, comes first uh, before you have financial stability. Um, and it's to the level of uh, emotional stability that you have, which will allow you to have the, res the amount of financial responsibility uh, so that you can actually uh, be more responsible to handle that. I mean, imagine people like, um, you know, who are billionaires, they have a lot of responsibility um, and they're emotionally stable enough to maintain and grow that wealth and continue having that. Um, so I'm continuing that process right now. And so if your goal is to become, you know, really fi truly financially stable and you're dealing with emotions, man, don't rely on marijuana, don't rely on substances. You know, there is something that you can use, which was what I'm using, um, that's been helping me to, to have that stability within myself and really stand um, in this world, um, you know, to, to put myself in a position where, yeah, I wanna be part, uh, create a new 1%, because the only way that we can truly uh, change the system is to stand equal to the system that's here right now and I'm talking about the financial system and also the education system so this is gonna be this is a point of number one changing our level of education and actually experiencing true education um, and then number two also standing uh, and having yourself uh, being financially stable so that you could stand um, in the system to actually create systematic change so um, if you want to know more about it, um, you can definitely message me and ask me more. Um, I could definitely tell you more, but that's just my experience. Um, thank you, Cameron, for putting out the challenge uh, of uh, sharing why I use Techno Tutor, and it's it's uh, phenomenal, and it actually feels good just to share that because uh, it's something that I've been kind of kind of putting out there on social media a little bit here and there, but never really. Uh, explained or told uh, my journey of uh, what's been happening with me over the last two years and the impact that it's had on me and how I'm continuing to use it um, and my vision uh, for it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.